All the world loves a playful puppy, and here are some thoroughbreds who are going to grow up and win lots of prizes. But it isn't always the thoroughbreds that make the best pets. Mongrels have their points too, though they're sometimes rather doubtful ones. For instance, this little fellow is half bear and half dog. And now we're going to show you some perfect specimens of the various breeds and tell you some of the points that you should look for when judging. The Afghan hound originally did come from Afghanistan. The bulldog, the British breed. The chow came from China where it was bred for food, just as we breed mutton. For generations, the Samoyed has been used for pulling sledges by explorers in the polar regions. And now, if you wanted to buy one, would you know which were the points to look out for? Here they are. The Cairn Terrier is the oldest of all the Scottish breeds bred there longer than the, even than the memory of man. It's one of the favourite dogs of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. And here are the main points to remember to judge a good specimen. For centuries, the Pekingese has been the royal dog of China and has been almost worshipped by the natives. If you want to know whether your peak is a good one, here's how. And here are some Dachshunds showing you just how to clear a bowl of meat in the shortest possible time. It was full, now it's empty. You may not believe it, but even a Dachshund has its points, and here they are. And just to finish off, we're going to solve the age-old mystery of how the Dachshund came to be shaped like it is. That's how Dax Huns were born, perhaps. <laughs>